Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing another horribly awful game nobody should buy, Sonic Generations for the 3DS. Now, I hate to say it, but this game sucks more ass than the console version did. The console version was pretty bad, so how bad can this game possibly be? Well, to begin with, the game is basically a watered-down version of the console version made by Dimps. Now, I'm going to say, you might have thought it was hard to top the console version in terms of suckiness, but Dimps does it. How can Dimps possibly do that? Well, they're Dimps, so you get several modes, including play game versus mode, missions, time attack, collection, and options. Now, you can get, now with the game, there are unlocks too, such as, you can unlock stupid pictures you could probably find on YouTube already. I mean, seriously, they're mostly just stupid unlocks you really don't care about, which don't add much to the replay value. So, you also have a versus mode, which is a multiplayer, but I'll get into that later because it's bad. Let's do the single player mode. So basically, the th two things become evident. First off, the game is watered down. You can go on the bottom screen, just pick a level, and stuff. Second off, the music sounds like that of an old camera phone. This is a 3DS, people. This is a 2012, well, 2011 released game system. And yet the music in this game sounds like, guess what? A Nokia. Like, you know those cheap phones they used to sell you at the prepaid phone place? Let's play Green Hill Zone's Classic Sonic. There's also special stages, which are clones of Sonic Hero special stages, and you don't need to do anything in them. So basically, the only screen you'll need is a top screen, because it's a 3DS game. First thing you notice, controls are laggy. The stages are just cut beam pastes. Second off, the homing attack, yeah. After you beat the third or fourth level, you get homing attack for classic Sonic, so it's basically mash A to win. So basically, meh. And you know, when you don't use homing attack, it feels all sluggish, like right now. The controls feel sluggish. I mean, you know, you know how in console generations, when you use the analog stick, the controls felt weird? When you don't homie attack, it feels weird too. Modern Sonic in this? See, look, I, I ate this in 47 seconds just because I homing attacked through the level. I A-ranked it. If I mash the homing attack button more instead of trying to show off the sluggish controls, which you might not be able to see because I pointed it at the screen, because you just have to feel it to know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like in console generations. I just A-ranked that stage with no effort whatsoever. This game is so amazing. Now, let's show you Modern Sonic. On Green Hill Zone. I guarantee I'll, S, I'll probably A or S rank this stage without even trying. Or I'll D rank it because of the cheap death. And so what is this? It's just like Sonic Rush. Hold X to win. Or Y. Yeah, hold X to hold Y to win is back. The physics are messed up for both of them and they feel just weird. Especially in stages like Casino Night, you'll be like, what the crap? When, like, you, you find out, then you find out you have to boost to win. And you know, backgrounds, they blend in two. Now, yeah, I'm running in the background kind of annoying, especially if you're playing on 2D. And the cheap death signs are back because there's a ton of cheap deaths, especially in the later stages. And why is it just playing the D-pad ones even though I'm using a circle pad? And I've had issues where the controls will feel sluggish when I'm using the circle pad because I'm not D-padding. And the 3DS has a god-awful D-pad. It's, it's in an awkward position and feels really hard. Like, you know... The music also sounds lower quality, like I said. 
especially the music for the 3DS version. It's so low quality. And look, see, I'm boosting to win. And in fact, you'll get a quick time event right here. Boost to win. If you don't boost to win enough, then you'll die. That's all the game is. Scripted events. Boost to win. I beat this in 1 minute and 20 seconds. B ranked it. Yeah, I could have S ranked it if I boosted more. Gotta go fast. So, let's show you a later stage to show you how cheap this is. Emerald Coast, Act 1. Unlike the other ones where it was sluggish and you, ha and you couldn't even homie attack until you unlocked it, this one you unlock it and it's just mostly mash A to win. He feels so freaking sluggish. And by the way, both points are in 2D anyway, there's no unleashed gameplay. It's all Sonic Rush gameplay, so if you're expecting Unleashed style gameplay in your car, too bad. You're not getting it here. I mean, come on. Seriously, the, even though the Unleashed gameplay was not good, oh look, fucking cheap death. Because you have to jump the right fucking place, or else you're dead. And then you can't even restart the level. It takes it back to the menu, and I have to wait for it to now load again. Yeah, cartridges have loading times now, somehow. So we've got these sluggish-ass controls. Bad level design, because it's made by Dimp, so it's got like 3 million cheap deaths. Like, Generations, I think we all know how much that shit sucked. This is like the extra suck version of Generations. Okay, what the effing crap. Oh, oh, look, 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 I'm standing underneath a box floating in there. How is that supposed to happen? Oh, oh, look. Oh, look, look, I'm standing inside this right now. I kid you not. This is real. What the freaking crap. Seriously? I'm not even trying to find glitches, and I find... What the shit? This is pathetic. Pathetic. And yeah, by the way, did I mention this game originally sold for 40 bucks and it sells for 20 bucks used at GameStop? See, I just did it again. That makes no sense. You'd think the box would fall, but this makes no sense. That's just that's just sad. I know I'm complaining about stuff like that, but seriously. As you can tell, the music also sounds kind of low quality, too. Don't know if they're trying to compress it a lot or what. You'd really have to hear it, though, in person. Video camming, it won't do it ju the crappy sound quality justice. Or, like, there's videos of this sound on YouTube. And look here, the low quality textures. This is a PSP grade system, by the way. And look, scripted ass scene. If you'd miss it just by a little, you're fucking dead. And you can't even boost to win either, even though the whole gameplay is almost like boost to win. It's like the only difference between classic Sonic is modern Sonic is one is boost, one doesn't. That's it. One has got awful Sonic 4 platforming, one's got hold X to win like in Sonic Rush. Look, a cheap death sign warning if you just touch the fucking water, you're fucking dead. Way to go. Oh shit, shit. Sorry, my, my tape's running out. Let me hurry up and do a surprise tape swap. Alright, I'm back. And looky here. I'm just gonna hit... I'm gonna go back to stage select because... I'm gonna show you more reasons why Modern Sonic is stupid. And not the character, I mean the gameplay. Emerald Coast Act 2. It's nothing like Sonic Adventure. Instead of being a copy-paste like in Gen, like half the stages in Gen's were, you have quick time events. Just like the other stuff. Except now you got stupid wind areas. And you gotta jump 
here exactly this way or else. Who's to win? Oh yeah, boosting to win requires no skill whatsoever until you get killed by a cheap dimps death pit. Now look at this. I love these stupid jump here things and that's all you ever do. If you don't quick time event there, you get fucked. And then sent back to this stupid level screen after loading, loading, loading. Gets old real fast. It doesn't help that Nintendo's button layout's different. Alright, I'm gonna get ready to boost. Boost to win! Gotta go fast! Did I mention the graphics also aren't that great for a PSP game? Yeah, these graphics... I mean, so these graphics look about the same as Sonic Rivals on the PSP, and that came out a few years earlier. I mean, just look at that pixelated mountain texture. Even the Dreamcast's textures were less pixelated than this crap, seriously. And yeah, looky here. I, I'm trying... Yeah, see, so you gotta hit it right there. Or else you're fucked, because that's all the game is. Quick time event here, or else... No skill required whatsoever, just memorize where the quick time events are. You win. Oh yeah, I'm not even trying. It doesn't... I hit B there... But I didn't hit it on time. What the freaking crap is that? I hit it too early and I freaking died. That's just bull shit. Oh my. And by the way, those cheap death pit signs are no excuse for having cheap death pits. It's like saying, oh, we're going to tell you this game's a piece of shit, but we're not going to tell you it. Like, that's just, it's still bullshit. Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go back to stage select and show you the multiplayer because it sucks too. And unlike generations as a multiplayer, I can laugh at. Versus mode. This this you can do internet battle. So I'm gonna do internet battle while it takes about three months to connect to Nintendo's Wi-Fi connection. Because after all, they're still using shitty ass Grand Prix. Yeah, you can search for matches, but you can't do voice chat. No voice chat whatsoever. And this system came after the PSP, so. Yay, I get up in a match with a random person. Continue, yeah. Add their profile card, which has how much of an Aspie they are. Stages after so and so, yeah, you can only select up to this stage. So you can pick. Any stage you beat, and so I'm gonna pick Mushroom Hill Act 2 for no reason. Your opponent's making the selection. Yeah, the opponent has to select 2, and it's only one on one. And it's whoever can boost the win the most. Choosing a stage at random. Mushroom Hill Act 2. Yeah, both picked it. And as you can see, the frame rate goes to shit. I'm gonna boost to win and see who the fuck comes in first. You can't see the enemy. Okay, okay, what? This is bullshit. And you can't back out either. So I'm gonna show you the funny shit that happens since you can't back out. Push the home button. Software close message pops up. Let's go back to the home and show you what funny ass message pops up.
get ready for this. Press start. Connection was lost during your internet match. This may have upset your opponent. <laughs> oh my god. They put a message saying, this may have upset your opponent. Yeah, they. I think they should do that next time you get kicked from Punkbuster. You have been che you've been caught cheating in Call of Duty. This may have upset your opponent. Please don't hack. That's the only good part about this game. But then again, it's only good to laugh at for like five seconds. Seriously, they put this message in, but they can't bother make the game good. Don't buy this game, all right? Please don't buy this game. Save your money. Go buy so many better games. The 3DS has so many better games. It's got um, it's got so many other. Oh wait, never mind. 3DS has no games. What was I saying? Don't buy a 3DS at all, and especially don't buy this game. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and save your money, please. Even the console version's better.